From the US, let's now shift our focus to the UK. In a bid to battle the latest strain of the coronavirus pandemic, British MPs have voted in favour of imposing new restrictions. The British Prime Minister Boris Johnson faced the largest ever rebellion from within his own party, putting him under further pressure. But despite the squabble, the measures were voted in favour by 269 to 126 votes. A record number of Conservative lawmakers, 97 in total, voted against the new measures. However, the policy passed with the help of votes from the opposition. This has further questioned the authority of Prime Minister Boris Johnson, whose approval ratings both with voters and inside the Conservative Party have plummeted amid a string of recent scandals. The latest measures include ordering people to wear masks in public places and the use of COVID-19 passes to enter some venues, especially nightclubs. The latest curbs come at a time when the country's health secretary, Sajid Javid, has warned of a surge in coronavirus-related deaths in the UK due to the rapid spread of the Omicron variant. He further said that the variant now accounts for 44% of all COVID infections in London. The Health Security Agency of the UK has now predicted that the true figure of those already infected in Britain could be as high as 200,000 a day. As of now, there are 5,346 confirmed cases of the Omicron variant in the country. But amid a surge in cases, Londoners are now queuing up at vaccine centres to get their booster jabs. This also comes a few days after the British Prime Minister warned that the latest Omicron variant could overcome the immunity of those inoculated. Some Londoners also complained to have to scramble to get an appointment for this booster shot. We have been checking the website for a few weeks to make sure to see if we could get an, uh, an appointment. But as soon as it opened for the under forces, we went for it and booked the first appointment at the first place we could find. Um, but it seems like there's a real scramble at the moment. Um, there really aren't any appointments available. And we've been checking to see if there's anywhere else. Meanwhile, the British government has announced that it will remove all 11 countries from its COVID-19 travel red list. However, Britain will still require all inbound travellers to take PCR tests 48 hours before departure. As of now, the latest COVID-19 strain, Omicron, is present in 77 countries. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.